How long have you been standing there, dearie? Come join us, Marianne. We won't bite. Unless you ask, that is. have certainly exceeded expectations, Marianne. Everything looks so marvelous, and in such a short time, too. Well, I can't take all of the credit. People have certainly been enthusiastic about the idea of working on the right mansion. There won't be any more problems unless... Mr. Wright has any more objections about the second bedroom? Oh, no, no. We proceed with that room as planned. I already agreed to him having his greenhouse and his vineyard and his stables. He may as well let me have this one thing. But don't you have a party? Mm, yes, but Luke's just being a sweetie, you see. That friend he's visiting, he's having marital problems and he's just trying to cheer him up. They've been married for a long time and they've hit a... How do they say it? A rough patch. His wife has a drinking problem and can be very neglectful. The poor thing really does his best to be a good husband. But it's never enough for her. Sometimes I think it's the years. Maybe it's been so long that they've lost that romantic spark. What do you think? If I'm going to be completely honest, I need to ask. This is about you and Mr. Wright, isn't it? Suppose it is. What would you tell me? Then, I tell you it's none of my business. I tell you that I don't want to meddle. But, if the troubled husband with the neglectful wife asked me for my honest opinion, I'd say that he shouldn't base his happiness and his self-worth on someone else. Maybe he should try being independent for a while. See what it's like when he isn't trying to please someone else and doing things for himself. Everyone's supposed to be their own man or woman, right? A bit of breathing room never hurt anyone. We shouldn't let our fear control our lives. I really should handle what's left of the work. You won't be attending the party? Oh, you really must, Marianne. I'll try to stay in chat. Maybe grab a few bites and a drink, but I can't be around for the entirety of the event. My apologies. Busy, busy, busy. You must stay a while. I'd love for you to meet some of my friends, and they're ever so excited to meet you. You need to say hello to the Lees, at least. 
If it wasn't for them, I'd never even heard of you. We'll see. So, if Foy can be excused? Certainly. You'll have to excuse me as well. I must attend to the party before any early birds arrive. Because, believe me, they will throw a fuss if things aren't ready, even when they're not supposed to be here until an hour later. Snell, hurry up, you snails! We are on a deadline and you are wasting my time! What are you doing here, Fraulein? This is not the place for guests or in an architect right now. I request you leave. I was just looking around for any last minute things, yes? Yes, you have been doing that a lot. Looking around, snooping about. Now is not the time for such things. If you're not careful, people might think you are up to something. Well, I'm not done yet. I actually need to go into the wine cellar. Just need a quick go at the place. So, just don't mind me. I I'll be out of your hair soon enough. Go outside. Enjoy the party. Bask in the praise and adulation they will no doubt shower you with when the madam speaks highly of you. Surely you've had enough of this stuffy old kitchen by now. You do not want to cause trouble. Both the Bratwurst and Hannah want this to be perfect. It would be a disservice and a disrespect to toe out of line and risk it being anything otherwise. And more importantly, I will be blamed for any failure that happens tonight. Please, I just uh, lost something the last time I was down there. It's really important. Fifteen minutes. Nine. Ten minutes. Any longer and I'll pull you out of there myself. The Bratwurst will be furious if he thinks anyone is touching his precious wine without his permission. Thank you. This seriously means a lot.
Lorraine! Where are you, Lorraine? I... I miss you, you know? May God grant her eternal rest and... <laughs> Then, a secret passage. There must be a hidden switch somewhere. Go look. This is the most interesting thing you've done by far. A shame I can't roll for perception checks in real life. Though a sanity check would be more fitting right now, wouldn't it? Face it, Tigress. You've just hit the jackpot. Lorraine, you're here. I thought I would never see you again.
I'm so sorry. I must look like a right mess. I just... It's been so long. I'm here, Em. I'm here now, don't you worry. Come here. I can't imagine how you've been so alone all these years. I left you, Lorraine. I didn't mean to, but that's what I did. I don't even know if you can ever forgive me. I... Don't cry. It doesn't suit your pretty face. Besides, I don't have to be alone anymore, do I? You're here for me, aren't you? You'll never leave me again, will you? I wouldn't dare leave you. You swear you won't leave me? I swear to God, I won't, Lorraine. God's not the only one you're making promises to, Marianne. Swear it to me. Or, even better, prove it to me. I'll stay forever with you, Lorraine. I swear it to you. How do I even prove it to you? Simple. You join me. Die for me. Lorraine! That's... How can I? There's no need to be scared. I'll be here for you until the end, Marianne. Even if you hadn't done the same for me. But that's the only way I can forgive you. The only way we can be together again. Shush now. It'll be over soon.
really soon.